What's up you guys, today I'm going to be talking about the cruise line stock industry if it's a buy within 2020, especially with this whole market crash happening. I'm going to be explaining to you guys exactly Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line and Carnival, whether which one to buy and at what price point you want to buy them at. All I ask is if you could just take 5 seconds of your time, hit that like button below, it really helps out this channel. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. So let's go on the computer now. I'm going to show and compare all three stocks. Okay, guys. So we have here on our left, RCL, Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruise Line on the middle, and Norwegian Cruise Line on the right. Like I've said before in my previous videos, I actually did a stock analysis on all three of these stocks. I told you guys basically from my predictions that this whole thing was a bull trap right here, right here, and right here. And I honestly thought we were going to see lower lows. From yesterday, Carnival came out with their earnings, and it dumped pretty much much yesterday about 30 percent which is pretty crazy if you guys want to buy carnival at what price point you might want to buy it at i'm going to be showing you guys exactly here what my predictions are for the stock this mark right here this eight dollar mark it dropped all the way to 760 pre-market right at the opening it's been pretty much staying around that eight dollar range i honestly think if it breaks down eight dollars we could potentially see it within this price range here of maybe seven dollars six dollars and even up to 535 i personally believe I don't think we've hit the low yet for the stock, especially Carnival and all these other cruise lines. I think we're going to see lower lows, especially at this range here. You know, this whole pandemic, we were pretty much not over with it. You know, it's just getting started. Their headquarters are here in Miami, where I'm from. And I know that we're not working. We're pretty much on lockdown. And the whole country is on lockdown and other countries as well. And I know this is going to take a long time to resolve. We might see a bounce here. Very possible that we might double bottom here. And then we might see a little bounce here this is the resistance point so if it breaks here it has to break here and we can see it maybe up to like $13 and then break down again or we might see it just continuously breaking down at this price point have a few bounces here until we get some good news there's a bunch of possibilities that can happen what you want to do as an investor is never pretty much predict what's the exact bottom because by the time you predict it and you're wrong you know it's going up trending and you want to do your own due diligence your own research when buying a stock this is just for carnival it goes for Royal Caribbean and Norwegian as well. I'm going to be talking to you guys exactly my plan when buying each of these stocks. But for Carnival, exactly what I would do personally, if you wanted to buy Carnival, is wait for this $8 range. And if it breaks down this, maybe especially tomorrow, we might see it around this whole 7 6 even maybe 550 I think the, the bottom is 535 I could be wrong. What I actually use for this is the Fibonacci tool. I try my best to to see what it's bouncing off of you know support and resistance and i do see it going lower lows i'm gonna start loading up my positions here little by little and you know start loading up around the five dollar range the most i personally think this is a high risk high reward kind of stock carnival cruises norwegian and royal caribbean it's gonna take some time for it to recover if you look at the 08 recession it took about two years to see it go back to normal and to basically almost its all time highs. So if you invest in these stocks, spread your risk around. Just don't put all your money into the cruise line, you know, and maybe the hospitality industry, you know, airlines or even hotel industries that have been taking a big hit. I've also made some other videos on, you know, hotels that have a lot of capital that pretty much can withstand this whole pandemic. One, for example, is MGM they have over almost close to $4 billion in cash holdings. Pretty sure they're gonna be fine with this whole thing going on until we get back to normal so let's talk about royal caribbean here if you guys want to buy it and what price point you want to buy it at i feel like royal caribbean follows the fibonacci really well compared to carnival and norwegian cruise line and i personally do see it breaking down below 1925 i think it's going to go within this range here all the way up to 13 dollars. you have to be patient when buying these stocks you know just because you saw this big spike this bull trap a lot of people were predicting oh man i'm gonna miss this uptrend i'm gonna start buying here now all that for them to lose almost 50 percent if you would have bought at the top here you would be down 50 percent from your initial investment and looking at that you'd probably be scared if especially if you look at it every day new beginners do that the most but i don't think we've hit the bottom yet to be honest i do think we still have some time to you know break below 19 royal caribbean i would honestly suggest anything below 19 dollars. you can start loading up at 18 16 15 dollars little by little increments and then all the way up to 13 dollars. i think we'll see maybe this is my honest prediction i'm not always going 
going to be right. Most traders are just, you know, predicting the market. There's no way you can always be right. But I personally think that we haven't hit the bottom yet and cases continue rising, especially in the US. Let me talk to you guys a little bit about Norwegian Cruise Line and what I think is a good price point when buying this stock. So I personally think we're going to go below $7 with this stock. And if you can tell, like all these stocks pretty much are similar to each other in the price movement a lot of people especially when i made the norwegian cruise line video a lot of people actually saw this bull trap i've had comments saying you know that was already the low and i was telling them no you know this is basically a bull trap and a lot of new beginners start buying here i personally think we're gonna hit a little bit below seven dollars maybe around the six and five dollar range as well and you know you just have to be patient with that and even if we still see seven dollars you know you still want to buy a little bit of shares buy in increments don't just put all your money at once buying little increments at six dollars and all the way up to like 550 and five dollars i personally think we're going to break down this seven dollar range all these three stocks are basically high risk high reward type of plays we don't know when the time frame is that we're going to recover from this whole pandemic we don't know what's going to happen truly with all this this panic going on but one thing you can do is spread your risk so if you wanted a very more you know conservative type of route this is like a high risk high reward type of play i would personally suggest minimal risk stocks if you look at here apple amazon as well is a good one tesla you don't want to buy those stocks now i still think they're going to continue dropping you know apple could hit the maybe 200 mark as well but those type of stocks are more likely to survive this whole pandemic and everything that's going on you know a lot of people are not going to be going on cruises for a while think about it like this history always repeats itself right so if they can withstand which i think they are this whole fear this whole pandemic i do think that we will see it go back to normal within a two-year time frame people are wondering why the cruise line industry didn't get the stimulus package and honestly it's because most of these cruise line companies don't pay federal income tax that's a real reason why they didn't get the bailout so if you buy around carnival about like that five dollar range you can possibly to nine ten times your return if it goes back to normal within due time but it's a very big return on your initial investment let's say in two years you know everything gets resolved you know we have come out with a vaccine and everything you're gonna be getting 50 cents per share more or less let's go back within time every quarter they're giving 50 cents in dividends you know they increased it five cents from 2017 to 2018 so they've been increasing their dividends with little by little with due time it's a good stock the cons of these higher risk stocks is that you know you don't know when this whole issue is going to resolve might go to bankruptcy if you know we don't get this issue resolved but personally i don't think we're going to see that it's going to be a tough time for this hospitality industries the hotel industry the airline industry the entertainment industry are all taking a big hit but with due time you know i do think it will be a good initial investment I'm going to be showing you guys the S&P 500, what I predict for it, because this is actually going to help us out finding the good positions for stocks that we might want to buy. And I do see maybe us hitting the 200 mark or even 180 mark before we start uptrending. And at this time, you can start longing your positions. Let's say if you wanted to buy a more conservative stock like Apple, Amazon, you know, you could even buy Tesla, which I think Tesla is going to do very good in the long run if they can survive this whole issue we're having. Mostly the cruise line industry has been getting hit the most since they haven't been getting stimulus package. Everyone's in fear that they're going to go bankrupt. So just keep that in mind. High risk, high reward. You can make up to nine times your money if you buy it almost at the bottom and predicting that it's going to go back to normal in the future. So if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I've been talking about that it will help a lot of new traders especially fear and greed index here you just google it you want to buy when this is at around zero to maybe five that's when we're gonna see this the spy will make lower lows once it breaks down this a lot of people are gonna panic and it's just gonna be a big spike here that's when we'll see the fear index hit around zero to five area that's when you want to load your positions long so hopefully this video helps you out guys if there's any stocks that you want me to do a stock analysis on leave a comment down below and if you have any questions regarding this video also leave a comment down below so we're going to be answering three questions in every video so if you have any questions regarding stocks or stocks you want to buy or at what price point you want to buy 
leave a comment down below what do i think about ccl especially yesterday it dropped 30 percent because earnings was the next day i personally think that we haven't seen the bottom yet of that stock you want to look at the eight dollar price range if it breaks below that we might see around seven six all the way to 550 area at that time you want to start loading up your positions long so what price should you buy ticker symbol rcl or ticker symbol ual for united airlines i personally see royal caribbean hitting below $19 within that $19 to $13 price range would be a good time to buy buying little increments so that way if you miss the bottom it's not a bad problem for United Airlines I personally see we've hit the low of $17 for that stock I personally see that we're gonna go a bit lower so anything around below 17 is a good buy I think it might hit around $15 at the lowest it might hit $13 but just buying little increments that way you don't miss the bottom for both of those stocks so you bought 25 shares at 1070 i personally don't think it's a bad move especially if it's a long-term investment i do think we might see lower lows from that stock as far as a long-term initial investment i don't think it's a bad move make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys on the next video